What do we think we got on over there? It's a red fish. Let's see. Pulling the boat over that way. Feel like a solid fish? It's running, huh? Yeah. Come on, hand me this. Can you hand me the net? Nice little red. Nice slot red. Nice slot. Really? He should be free. He might be over slot. That's a solid fish right there. Look at that guy, one spot redfish, a little bit of a blue tail on him. Beautiful, healthy fish. You hear him drumming? It's in the drum family. Nice, look at that guy, huh? Let's get a measurement on him real quick. Twenty-five, twenty-six inches. That's, you gotta go a little more north. Really? I think in a slot. Perfect size slot. Actually, be a perfect terminate, terminate, terminate fish. Twenty six inches. Twenty six inches is what I got. What do you think? Should we do a catch, cook, and clean? This nice guy? Looks good. All right, let's throw him in the box. Really? A solid redfish. Nice job, Ryan. Caught him right outside the mouth of this uh, inlet here. We're on uh, about half the low tide, halfway to low tide, a couple hours. So we can't go back into the creeks, unfortunately, because uh, we get stuck. But so all the bait fish are coming out of the creeks, shrimp, you know, mullet, all this stuff coming back out here. 
and uh, we're waiting to ambush them with some uh, blue crabs. So here's the, uh, the bait we use. It's a quarter of a blue crab with about a half ounce egg sinker and a six aught circle hook. So we'll get, on them, we'll get on them again. All right guys, we caught a nice 26 inch redfish up here in Northeast Florida. And we're gonna show you how to cut it up real quick and then we'll meet you back at the kitchen. So here's the uh, 26 inch golden redfish. The single spot, it's a beautiful looking fish. It's in the drum family. Excellent eating. So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna cut at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna go along the backbone. And now I like a, a flimsier knife. But we're gonna go right along the backbone, really easy. We're gonna come back up here, keep going right along the backbone, get all that meat. And you can see this is a white, very white meat fish. And then I'll usually cut around the rib, rib, rib cage. Same thing, right along the backbone. Trying to get all that meat. And it helps to have a sharp knife. So there's a rib cage right there. Now we're gonna do this skinless as well. So put the knife at a 45 degree angle. And actually you don't really wanna move the knife too much. You wanna keep it stationary, pulling the skin. So one trick I like to tell people is not to actually wash off the, fil the filet. You'll do that right before you cook it because when you wash it off, you kind of remove the oils and whatnot. So let me uh, clean this area real quick. Get rid of the blood. Let me show you how to prep this filet real quick as well. You'll see up here, there's this is the finlet and the finlet's just gonna pop off. You can pull it off. Now that, that piece, some people eat it, but it's very fishy. You can see up here, so that's how the fish moves its fins on the very top. So that looks good. As I said earlier, we cut out around the belly meat, so really not too many belly bones, pin bones. You'll feel you may have a few in here that you gotta cut out. It's a nice firm, firm fish. And cut a little bit out over here. You can see you just got a little bit. Just like that. Now let's do the other side. So there you go, a nice beautiful filet. Same thing over here. You're gonna start 45 degree angle top of the head, see it looks a little bit harder, along the backbone, and then just come right along the backbone, you're going to rake, scrape the backbone, okay, Feel, feel the rib cage and the backbone. I also recommend wearing a fillet knife glo uh, glove, fling uh, glove. It just, you know, it really helps prevent a slight nick or anything, and, and that could be painful and it's not good when you're cutting fish. So, so we went around the rib cage, belly meat again. So there you go, just like that. Same thing as before. Take that knife at a 45 degree angle, pull the, the skin. 
just like that. See again, you can see the finlet up here. Remove that. Okay, check for the belly meat. See if you got any pin bones. A lot of times you'll have them up here, so we'll cut this out. Just like that. Beautiful feel. Make sure you don't have any bones. There's nothing worse than getting a bone in here. But uh, we'll see you back at the kitchen. So here's two beautiful red fish fillets. And like I said, do not wash them off until you're ready to cook them. Throw them in a, a gallon Ziploc bag, quart Ziploc bag, and uh, we'll, we'll prepare them in the kitchen. So see you shortly. All right, welcome back to the kitchen. We're gonna do fish and chips today. So we caught a beautiful redfish. It was a 26 inch upper slot redfish. It's in the drum family, very firm meat, delicious. We're gonna cook it two ways, black and redfish as well as frying it. And then we have the, uh, the, the, the chips, which are French fries. And we're gonna use the air fryer to cook that. So air, the chips will take a little bit longer to cook. So let me show you the preparation for that. We're using Yukon gold potatoes, a little bit of um, olive oil, and sea salt. This is Himalayan pink salt, but it doesn't really matter. You can use regular Mediterranean sea salt, any kind of sea salt. So we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this up. Watch your fingers. Okay. I like to make these really thin. And it takes about 20, 20 minutes on the air fryer. We just got an air fryer over the holiday season, so we're putting it to work. Kind of stack these like this. Really thin, nice and easy. It's a simple dish to make and it's delicious. It's, it's a lot healthier than getting them uh, fried at the restaurant. T traditionally, I also use russic potatoes, but uh, we only had Yukon Gold in the, in the kitchen today. So, S simple steps here. Put a little extra virgin olive oil. A nice dashing of the Himalayan salt or any salt you have. And then you're just gonna come with your hands or fork and mix it up. So then you're gonna throw this into the air fryer. Okay, you can add extra salt later and we'll top it, we'll, we'll come behind it at the end with the little Italian seasonings, just to add a little extra spice. So this takes about 20 minutes. You'll have to, you'll have to mix it up halfway through, kind of flip it on the air fryer. There's a there's a setting for french fries that we use, and uh, it's pretty easy. So we already have a batch going, because they take a little bit longer than the regular fish, so we're gonna put these to the side and we'll show you the batch that's already done, but here you go, ready for, ready for fries. Now we're gonna move along to the red fish. As I said, this is a firm fish. You saw how we caught the fish, now we, we, we clean the fish, and this is the end result here. Beautiful redfish. You can see there's no, there's no bones. You'll feel for bones, feel for any cartilage or anything that's in there. It looks good. I did wash this off, so when I, when I cleaned it, I told you not to wash it off. It's very important. Now some fish you never wanna wash off, like tuna is a perfect example. So you can cut out the bloodline if you like, but this one's not as bad. So you wanna make it into finger pieces. Just like that, it helps to have a knife, a sharp knife. So there's a nice beautiful filet. So there's a little bit of that bloodline. I'll cut it out. All right up top there, it's a firm meat. You don't. Typically see it on the restaurant menu in Florida because it's actually a sport fish. And because it's a sport fish, it's not sold commercially. Now, if you go to Louisiana or Georgia, you'll see it on the menu. Chef Prudhomme in New Orleans made, made it famous. Um, and uh, the redfish has actually rebounded significantly uh, due to the net ban that was uh, approved in the mid 90s. So here's the other, other filet. We'll do the same thing, look for bones. There's nothing worse than getting a bone in your, th in your filet. 
So we'll go down the middle there. This is a nice finger. Take out the the bloodline. Cut that nice finger. And this is skinless. And this fish was swimming around four hours ago, five hours ago. So you don't, some people don't take out the bloodline, they don't really care about it. Um, some, some fish have a stronger fishier bloodline. So we typically will avoid those fish, uh, to be honest with you. So a, a, a fish that would have a stronger bloodline would be like a bluefish, Spanish mackerel, any of the mackerel. Um, those fish are great for, actually, um, they're great for um, smoking and making fish dip and stuff like that. All right, so there we go. We'll move on to the next step. All right, so two, two ways we're gonna make this. One way it's gonna be really simple. It's uh, with just with blackening it. So we're gonna use Chef Prudhomme's Black and Redfish Magic. All you need for that is butter in a very hot pan. The second way we're gonna cook it is we're gonna fry it. And I love this Louisiana seasoned fish fry. If you saw the, the blue crab, the sauce blue crab video, this is exactly the same way I made it. It makes fish even very nice. It's got a nice seasoning to it. But I do like to add, this is a crispy. So I use crispy, I've used lemon, um, I've used regular, they're all very good. Um, and I'll add a little bit of extra spice. So I like the pecan rub. You can, um, you can add uh, some Old Bay as well. Old Bay makes it really nice. So it's kind of your choice. But I notice when you make it with just with this, you need to add the extra spice. So like I said, blacking's really easy. But let me show you how to do the frying of it. So there's two steps here, it's really easy. You got cold water here, so we're gonna take some fillets, dump them in here, get them nice and cold. And then we're gonna go to the next step. So we're gonna add this, this the spice into this. You want a good amount. Give you a little old bay as well. So we'll mix this up. All right, and we're gonna take this cold, ice cold filet, just like that, and we're gonna throw it right in there. Okay, so we can do and get another step ready here. All right, so we're gonna flip it, cover it, thoroughly cover it in spice. And you can make shrimp like this as well. It's, it will turn out just as, just as good as a restaurant, believe it or not, fresh shrimp. It's a staple around Northeast Florida. So there you go. So now, that guy is prepared and ready for the frying pan. Okay, one more. And we're using canola oil, or you can use vegetable oil, whatever you prefer. Just like this. Kind of want to have clean, dry hands when you go to the batter part. You never want to overcook fish that's one of the big sins. This is looking done too.
There's gonna be a few people eating this one, so I think it'll cut it in half. That's looking good. All right, so we've already taken off the fried red fish, and now we have left is the, the black and red fish, and that's pretty much almost done. You can see it's really flaky and white. A few more minutes on that would be great. While we're waiting, here's the, here's the fried red fish. I'm gonna try a little bit. It's really flaky. It's delicious. This is a tried and true way of doing it. This fish was swimming around five hours ago, so you can't get any fresher than that. Let's come over here and check out the, the blackened. Nice flaky fish. I think we're good. All right. Shut her down. Air fryer wants us to turn the food. This is what it looks like. That halfway point. I don't want to get in here. Stir it up, make sure they look good. Back in. As I said before, you'll need an extra probably five minutes. That's what we need on ours. So I'm going to put it up. And so we're all set. Now here's the blacken. So let's try the blacken and see how it looks and tastes. The black is really good. They're both excellent. They're, they're two different, but uh, two different ways of cooking it. There you are, there you have it. Blackened on the right, on my right. And then this is fried. We use Louisiana fish fry with a uh, little bit of extra spices. It's delicious. Hope you guys like this video. We Showed you how we caught the fish, we cleaned the fish, and we made the fish. So, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.